name is Kate and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going I have two items from a yard sale. I have a Michael Kors bag I wanted to do a review on and I want to do a health update. Um, let me back up a little bit because a lot of new subscribers but years ago actually back in 2015 I was diagnosed with liver cancer and I had surgery at John Hopkins and removed a third of my liver so since then I've been cancer free. Well preliminary because I went to have an ultrasound today but the preliminary findings was still no tumors in my liver so thank God no sign of liver cancer but it's always that but <laughs> my gallbladder has stones so I have gallstones so I need to talk to my doctor about taking care of that but thank God there's no liver cancer okay so let's move on to my yard sale haul Another coach. Now, I've never seen one like this one before either. She's very narrow, very thin. All like nylon or canvas. There's a coach emblem right there, you can see. It has leather trimmed on the zipper, pier trimmed. Leather key keeper, well, well, not key keepers, leather, whatever, strap keepers. <laughs> um, the hang tag. I love that pretty color of blue. She does have a few stains on it, it looks like, but she's just, just a little dingy. I guess it's the way to put it. I'll have to clean her up, but I really like this. It's nice. It's got a pocket in the back, magnetic, which is very, I mean, it closes, but it's, interior looks great. Shoulder bag, or you can cross body her. That's all you gotta do is move this. Without dropping the bag. And you have yourself a crossbody bag. No problem. So, for me, I usually keep her as a shoulder. Or well, usually, I haven't carried her yet. How you like that? <laughs> so, there you go. It's a shoulder bag. She's got a zip pocket with the um, with the uh, Coach Creed on it. She's got two slip pockets. I'll give you a close up of the two also.
dollars. Five dollars yard sale. Okay. I got another one from yard sale. I think North Carolina is is Coach City, Coach State. I mean, she's in great condition. The leather's in good condition. Nice thick strap in great condition. She's got a pocket back here. Here says coach. And she's got the uh, two slip pockets and the zipper pocket also. So she's in um, like great condition. I mean, besides maybe just kind of spiffy up this uh, canvas here to make it a little bit cleaner looking, yeah, the leather's in like perfect condition. I don't see anything wrong with it. was ten dollars okay of course you know I try to offer five but the yard sale I, I purchased this from um, I was talking to the woman and what, ha what, what's, what was going on with that yard sale was her husband had open-heart surgery I think I had a triple bypass and they still had like nine they had nineteen thousand dollars in bills to pay after insurance so her church donated a lot of this stuff for her to have a yard sale so there's no way I could say five dollars. I said, I said ten dollars was great. But ten dollars were great anyway. But I, you know, I definitely gave her ten for it. So I got on the, <clears throat> the lowest one. So passed the elbow test with no problem. Got plenty of room right here, as you can see. So I'm getting a collection of coach here. I didn't have any coach. I had one coach bag. Gave it to my daughter. Then I had no coach bags. Now I get a lot of coach bags. Okay. Kipling still carrying her. Except, like, when I went to the doctors and tomorrow I think I'm going to go to the movies. I keep on going back to this little bag. Because it, it carries my wallet. It carries my keys. And it carries my money. In that order. Top. Wallet with cell phone. Keys. Money. 
crossbody. No weight whatsoever. Triple zipper nylon. So I've been carrying this whenever like when I went to the doctor's this morning. But this is my carry I've been carrying for a week. So that's why I haven't changed out the bag because I've been carrying that and this. So I'm kind of carrying two bags all week long. <clears throat> okay, now let's get to the Michael Kors. I only have two Michael Kors in my collection, so 95% of you guys has been following me and know which one this is. I have it in the dust bag. This is vintage. This is gorgeous. I, I, I wish they would actually make more bags like this. I really do. I'm more the equestrian type, heavy duty, strapping, belting, whatever you want to say, and leathers, and that's what drew, drew me to Dooney. Love this bag. Never, ever, ever, ever leave my collection. Not to knock me out. I had to be six foot under. Isn't she absolutely gorgeous? I mean, if you like vintage. If you don't like vintage, then she probably, ugh, ugh, whatever. She's a small bag. I've seen her, I think, once on eBay or something. But look at this leather. Here, it says Michael Kors. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right there. Here, it says Michael Kors. Look at these zipper pulls. It's got a little flap right there that kind of hides that. Isn't that just so classy? I love this bag. Of course, the zippers are just like butter. You know, it's. I got that inner paper in here. This is how I always. I always keep her nice and stuffed. Look at that. I'm like in all of this bag. See, with me, it's all about leather. It has a uh, two slip pockets lined here in leather, which that says Michael Kors right there. Other side, a zip, and it has a key fob, key keeper, the gold hardware, leather key keeper. But the condition, now she is scratched up on the bottom, you can see. But this leather is just amazing. I'd rather have a bag like this than all these coach bags and most of my Doonies. I mean, the Florentine Doonies are like my favorite. This little bag is so close to my, f I mean, it's just, mm. the workmanship, all that leather, it's just, to me, it's, it's, it's just amazing, it's just amazing, and I like the coated cotton, and I like the canvas, but never more than I do the leather. Never. I don't know. If, if you guys know what I mean, then it's no words. It's no words. Um, I'm in awe. So... I will do um, a close-up of this bag also.
next week I do have the makeup video. Yeah. Next week is going to be me doing my makeup, which is, is probably that's five minutes. I don't, I don't do much. I don't put a lot of stuff on. Um, it is what it is, you know. And then after that will be the tour video. If you ladies still want to see the tour video, I'll do that the week afterwards. So, I didn't get a lot of thumbs up on that one about the tour video, but I guess, you know, you, you ladies still want to see it. Let me know if you do. I'll do the tour video after the makeup video. Okay, so I think that's it for me today. I don't have anything else going on. Like I said, the health thing, I'm absolutely happy as can be about. I mean, <laughs> no signs of liver cancer. Of course, they said they have to go now and they got to relook at the, the, the ultrasound and all. This was a preliminary. The one, the guy, doctor who did the ultrasound was actually a doctor that reads the ultrasounds. And he said he didn't see anything, but he did see gallstones. So that's my next thing. You know, it's one thing or another. The older you get, you know, I'm 60 years old now. Trying to hold my body together. Anyway, so, that's all I have for today. You guys have any questions or comments? Hello, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So I love you all. You all have a great weekend. Talk to you all later. Bye for now.